Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Art Kira. I recently completed this painting I called Safari Giraffe, which is available as a canvas print and today I will be showing you my digital painting process. Hope you enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe. The reference image I am using is from Pexels, where you can get royalty free images to use. This photograph was taken by friends. Van Herden and will provide you with a link to his Pexels account in the description below. I always start out by making approximate proportions so you can see me marking out where the top of the giraffe's head will be, the bottom of its feet and the sides of the body. I also mark out the centre point which helps me easily and quickly capture the correct proportions. Then I create a rough sketch of the image. You will see me constantly flipping the image horizontally. This is because Constantly staring at the image while drawing normalises it and you don't see the error so much but flipping the page allows you to see it from a new angle and perspective immediately noticing incorrect proportions. Here I am just correcting the errors, resizing and changing the angle quickly of parts of the image that, don't, that just don't look right to me. Putting a neutral colour down as the background, just getting rid of the bright white. I initially started with brown as the base colour of the giraffe, but then I thought it would be easier to begin with a creamy colour and add the brown pattern to throw over the top. I like to create a colour palette in the corner while painting. This makes it easier for me to colour pick later if I want to use the same colour further on in the painting. Getting just getting the basic colours down here and not really thinking about contrast yet. I think it is important to continue to develop the background at the same rate as developing the foreground. The background is just as much a part of the painting and the two need to look like they are interacting and complement each other. Here I am adding patterns to the fur. It is important not to get too bogged down capturing all the minor details of the patterned fur unless you are trying to create an ultra realistic painting as this will just take you forever. It is up to you as an artist to decide how realistic you want the piece to look. I have tried to use the pattern of the fur to show the contours of the body and as I go down the legs I am just creating marks. As an artist, you need to choose which aspects of the painting to concentrate on the most and bring to the viewer's attention. For this piece, I'm trying to capture colour and atmosphere, so I am not too concerned about the pattern. So now I'm just creating a bit of depth and adding shadow. Think about where the light is coming from in your image. In this painting, it is coming diagonally behind the giraffe. To create the painterly effect of traditional paint, I like to use a brush called Real Oils, which I believe comes with the latest version of Photoshop. This brush does lag when it comes to using a large file size and um, when using painting a high resolution image even on my Surface Pro, but you just have to be a little patient sometimes. I wasn't really feeling the colour scheme here, so I completely changed the background, adding some yellow in a painterly style and some dark brown for contrast. Always thinking about the light source, in this piece I wanted the setting to be at dusk, but an abstract version. I thought this setting would complement the scene very well. The beauty of digital painting is that you can increase the contrast and colour saturation within an instant. I want the foreground and background to interact in a painterly style and come together as one. I don't want to capture the background completely because I am not going for a realistic scene, but I wanted to bring elements of the photograph to my painting. The left of the painting is looking a little empty, so I thought it would be a good idea to bring in some of the plants to improve the composition and make the painting more interesting. Adding more details and refinements to the giraffe. So the giraffe looks like it's kind of floating and not interacting with the background enough, so I gave it a little shadow stretched out from the hooves.
here I'm not really looking too much at the original image. I'm letting my own intuition and artistic style guide me. Yeah, I am pretty much 95% finished at this point. Just playing around with the contrast colour and adding some detail here and there. It took me a while to get this last bit right. I was really struggling with the final 5%. I wasn't entirely happy with the colour. It felt way too red and orange. I was constantly fighting with wanting to tone down the colour, but I kept adding it back in because I love colour in artwork. And I had a eureka moment as I was going to bed one night that I needed to add some blue to neutralise the yellow and the red. So this final bit I uh, got up really early one morning before work and added the touch of blue and just some final details. So the way I like to do my artwork is I start by copying the reference image to get the basic proportions of the subject correct but slowly I add my own artistic style and I stop looking at the reference um, and I use my own vision to create a original piece of work. So here is the final image. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.